funny y'all say that because y'all didn't watch the last lap of Coda. Me and the 23 were fucking bouncing off of each other. And I'm thinking at the time we're battling for 14. I'm like, I want the spot. I'm faster. I, I ran him down from a long way. I want the spot. Hey there, NASCAR fans. Today, we're diving deep into the heart pounding world of 2311 racing, exploring the intricate dynamics between Denny Hamlin, Bubba Wallace, and Tyler Reddick. The world of NASCAR is not just about racing on the track. It's about the intense rivalries, the drama, and the camaraderie between drivers that keep fans on the edge of their seats. From fierce on-track battles to behind-the-scenes camaraderie, and Hamlin's take on driving with 2311, we've got it all covered. So buckle up, and let's get the engines roaring on this exhilarating journey. Before that, do subscribe to the channel. Let's kick things off with the Circuit of the Americas clash that had everyone present there on the edge of their seats. Denny Hamlin and Bubba Wallace, with team owner driver dynamics and competitors, showed us what racing is all about. Despite a long-standing partnership, the final lap at Coda was nothing short of a blockbuster, with both drivers pushing their limits. While all eyes were on who would be crossing the finish line, Hamlin and Wallace were battling out for their spot on the leaderboard. Interestingly, just before the Coda race, in an interview with former NASCAR race car driver Kevin Harvick, 2311 racing driver Tyler Riddick spilled some beans. On Harvick's podcast, Reddick opened up about the varying driving styles and strategies between him and Wallace, highlighting the competitive yet cooperative nature of their relationship. My own cars, spin my own cars out, and it was the perfect tool to tell somebody you would do whatever. How, how do you think that would go over? Is that, is that what Denny expects from I, I, I've, I've got the feeling pretty early on from Bubba that he tries to use Denny's ownership in the team against him. You know, if you're in Denny's shoes, right, you don't want to tear up your own car and you don't want to wreck another one of your own cars, right? Because yeah. I, I feel like he's, he's aware of how expensive this stuff can get, right? Yeah. So I'd wreck the crap out of my cars. <laughs> I would just. I mean, I've, I've never honestly felt like Denny's really ever cut me breaks or been like more fair with me. He races really yeah. hard, but uh, you know, I feel like it's something that's kind of shared amongst probably at like the 95th, 95th percentile and don't go any further than yeah. that because it's not worth taking that risk. And it unfortunately did. I think, you know, Denny's situation, uh, I think it just kind of surprised him yeah. when that happened. I don't think for, for me, I would just kind of black out and lose my mind and, and just do whatever whatever I had to do. But it's it's such a different, it's such a different world. This delicate balance of competition and teamwork is what propels 2311 racing forward in the cup races. Racing at this level isn't just about speed and skill. It's also a financial chess game. Reddick's comments about the costliness of wrecking cars underline the economic tightrope these drivers walk on. It's a testament to the high stakes involved, where every decision can have a monumental impact on the team's future. Meanwhile, in response to Reddick, Denny Hamlin himself opened up about the adrenaline-fueled moments when he and Bubba Wallace go head-to-head. -head. Tyler Reddick had an interview with Kevin Harvick, which you also did um, this weekend, and he had said that he thinks that Bubba uses your ownership against you when driving. Well, it's funny y'all say that because y'all didn't watch the last lap at Coda. Me and the 23 were fucking bouncing off of each other, and I'm thinking at the time we're battling for 14. I'm like, I want the spot. I'm faster. I, I ran him down from a long way. I want the spot. I get in under him in 16, and he cuts down, very similar to the bush and sea belting, where I, I, I dove in there a little late, you know. But he came down on the apex, and I clipped his left rear. That gets me up beside him, and then we battle corner after corner, side by side. Every exit, I'm just kind of using him as my eight tires are better than four. Like I start sliding on the exit, and I'm like, well, he's there. I'll just go ahead and lean, lean on him to kind of get me back straight. The whole last lap was a blast. We both got top 15s going, which are good days, I hate to say it, for both of us on road courses. I was so nervous that it was like a tickle fight with cars that eventually someone hits the other one a little bit too hard and they're like, that hurt, Charlie. And then <laughs> you, you you hit a little harder and the next person starts, you start raising the stakes of how much you're running into each other. And then we eventually just wipe each other out and we both finish probably 20th or 25th. Luckily, it didn't happen, Who but it went down? down to the last. I'm telling you, we got to find the inboard on board of the both of us just going at it. The last two laps of the race interview with Kevin as well, that like 
I don't cut them brakes. I mean, I think I, I drive the cars that I own the same as I do the the cars that I'm teammates with. I, I think it's kind of an all Toyota. We all race each other very similarly. Um, I think that it's okay that we take it to the 95%, never to 100 with each other for sure, because what we would look like clowns is if we would have wrecked each other in those situations. But I thought that we were just barely in control, have fun that last lap, but not step over and end up really pissing each other both off by having a bad day. So I get out of the car and Bubba comes over. He's like, hey, are, are, are you good? Are, are we good? I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, great. That was fun. I'm like, all right. Yeah, me too. I thought so too. It was, it was a blast. But I mean, it was fun for me because I got the better end. But you know, he had a little bit beat up car at the time and I had a little better tires. But yeah, it was. it's funny. I saw this on our on our talk about sheet here. They didn't see the last lap at Coda. We were, it was, it was one of the best battles on the track. While Hamlin shed light on the competitive spirit existing between drivers and more, the mastermind behind 2311 also seems to be at crossroads. Since his contract renewal with Joe Gibbs racing last year, there have been speculations about him moving to his co-owned team, 2311 as a driver. Will he shift gears and join his own team as a driver? In a conversation with Sports Business Journal, Denny Hamlin talked about the possibility of joining his own team one day. He wouldn't make the move as a full-time driver unless he knew the equipment was as good or better than his JGR equipment. Hamlin told Sports Business Journal, I'm slowly but surely starting to believe that 2311 is an equal to the position I'm in right now. Recently, Hamlin shared his thoughts around the same in a conversation with Kevin Harvick on his latest podcast episode. You gotta have a pit crew too. I mean, the pit crew is such a big part of the results nowadays. The only advantage to that now though is that the cars are so similar. I'm very confident in the speed of the cars. The 2311 is just as fast as Joe Gibbs Racing mm -hmm. is, but there's so many other elements that play into the result that would take a few years to get. I mean, you gotta have the right person on the top of the pit box. You gotta have the right engineers. There's just, you'd have to put that team together and it certainly would take a few years. So there's a few hesitations I have. One is that I want to end my career with Joe Gibbs Racing because I want to be loyal to the person that gave me my start. But yes, there is a part of me that wants to drive for 2311. Absolutely. I, I think without doubt, I'll say that I'll certainly be racing at 2311 and at least a race at some point in my career. That'd be pretty awesome. <laughs> Hamlin's contemplation about racing for 2311 racing full-time reveals his deep commitment to the team's success and his quest for a lasting legacy in NASCAR. And that wraps up our deep dive into the thrilling world of 2311 racing. For more updates, click on the I button on top right of the screen. With Hamlin, Wallace, and Reddick at the helm, the team is on a fast track to greatness, fueled by passion, competition, and unyielding determination. As the NASCAR season unfolds, Denny Hamlin's potential move to full-time racing with 2311 racing sparks. Speculation and excitement among fans, envisioning a future where the team reaches new heights of success. While the on-track drama between Denny Hamlin and Bubba Wallace will continue to captivate fans and deliver unforgettable moments on the track, what do you think about 2311 team dynamics and Hamlin racing for the team in future? Do share in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button, share and subscribe for more racing insights. Until next time, keep the conversation going on. Lucky Dog on Track.